Welcome back guys, we got another great OBS tutorial. Today we're talking about audio filters. Did you know there's over eight audio filters built into OBS? They need to be used in a specific chain and OBS supports virtual studio technology, VST plugins. Well, we're gonna learn all about it. Plus you can read a chapter in the OBS super user guidebook. To learn more, let's get started. What's up guys? Want to remind everybody you can get a free copy of the OBS Super User Guidebook in the links below. You can pick up a paperback copy on Amazon and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. If you want to see us make more videos like this, hit the like button and if we could do better or you've got a question, let us know in the comments below. All right, let's dig into audio filters inside of OBS. As you know, when you right click a source, you can open up filters and the top left area there is all about audio filters. So we're going to dig right into the audio filters, presser an expander, gain, invert polarity, a limiter, a noise gate, noise suppression, and an entire plethora of VST one and two plugins that integrate directly with OBS. And we'll talk about how they work before you get into this. You need to optimize the gain of the entire audio system. There's no sense adding gain to an input that's already too low at the source. So for a webcam, you can go into your sound card, whether that's on a Mac or a PC and check the levels of the incoming audio source. So this can be done in the microphone microphone properties on a Windows computer. And what you want to do is you want to listen to the levels of your audio source, whether that is on a regular audio mixer, your USB audio interface, or literally your sound card coming into your computer. And you want to look for the levels and make sure it's not peaking. If it's peaking, you want to turn it down a little bit. If you're not reaching the full levels and you leave it at 100, you don't want the audio to be peaking by the time it comes in. And by peaking, I mean hitting the max threshold of your volume level all the time. Then you want to turn it down a little bit before it even gets into OBS. So with that being said, you have your raw audio coming into OBS and then you add a filter and maybe it's a noise suppression filter. And for example, a noise suppression filter can remove like the low level of noise from like a computer fan in your room, for example, you would want to do that before you gate the audio, before you add an EQ, before you add compression. There is a logic to adding a chain of audio where the first filter is affects the second, third and fourth filter. And most people agree that it's, it's best to do a noise suppression first, a gate second, the EQ third and a final compression. So when, with that being said, you really need to put on a pair of headphones. You can't do this with your smartphone speaker or your laptop speakers. Try to get a pair of headphones so you can really listen to what you're doing with audio. Now, a few tricks that you can apply to a noise gate, for example, to make it sound more natural would be to think about like, do you have a, a deep voice or do you have a high voice? Men tend to have a lower voice and women tend to have a higher voice. If you have a deep voice, you can actually cut out some of those higher pitch sounds, for example, with a high pass filter, and you can cut off some of the lower tone frequencies using a noise suppressor or an EQ. But let's dig directly into OBS here. I want to teach you guys about each one of these filters that are available, apply them to this audio microphone that I already have in here. And we're just going to go down the list and talk about each one. So what is a compressor? What does it do? The compressor can be used on any audio source to make it sound more full. It gives it that radio sound and it keeps your audio from peaking beyond zero dB. So it'll make loud noises a little bit quieter before they peak. And the main thing that you can adjust is the ratio. The higher the ratio, the more compression that you're adding. The compression, you'll hear it. You really need to use your ears to hear this. It'll get more and more distorted. So the more ratio you add, the more it's going to push down on the top of that audio. Now, the compressor also has a threshold. And this setting you can use to set the audio level at which the compressor starts to work. So you can see here we've got negative 18 dB and we can go all the way up to zero. So you're basically setting, hey, when do I want the audio? At what point do I want it to start compressing it back down? 
And then, of course, you have the attack and the release. You, if you're not experienced with this, you might want to leave these as is. But essentially, the attack and the release allow you to adjust how quickly the compressor effect will ramp in and out when the threshold is reached. And then finally, after you've done this, you may decide, hey, I just want to add a little bit of output gain at the end. Now, there is a really cool feature called side chain ducking that we'll talk about at the end of this video because it's a little complicated, but you're probably going to love it. Let's wait till the end of the video and we will discuss this really cool side chain ducking feature. Now, the next one on our list is an expander and the expander can be used to remove unwanted background noise by setting a low level threshold for audio that you want removed. So you can see here, it's very similar to a compressor, all of the different same items here. But we, what we're doing is we're setting a very low threshold. So it starts at around 40. These are very low level noises that we're trying to get rid of using that and the attack and the release and the output gain are the same. Now we have straight up gain, which just increases or decreases the audio of your input. So don't use this if you don't have to. Much more important to look at the audio mixer you're using your sound card first before you start increasing the gain in OBS because it will add additional noise. Now, a limiter is a specialized type of compressor that's designed to be used at the end of the audio processing chain. So again, thinking about this in a chain, limiters are used to limit the audio from peaking above zero. So it's a little bit of an easier to use compressor at the end of a chain. Now, a noise gate is a simplified version of an expander. So if you're just getting started, maybe you skip the expander and go straight to the noise gate. You can set a level of noise on your audio input that you want removed automatically. You can see it's really easy. You're just trying to listen to the audio and adjust these two open and closed thresholds to try to get rid of background noise. Something that's a humming fan, something in your background that is uh, distracting to your audio, you can remove by using the noise gate. Now noise suppression is a very important tool and this tool allows you to filter out low level noises from your computer fan. And when the filter is set to zero, it is off, okay? Now you see here we've got these RN good quality um, but more CPU usage. This noise suppression is automatic. This was a new feature in OBS. This is a great one to add. And again, kind of like at the top of your chain, you would add the noise suppressor at the top. We are going to put the noise gate as number two using these up and down arrows. We are going to add an EQ at the end, and then we are going to do the compressor. So that is a good step right there. Now, one of the other things you'll notice is that we have these VST2 plugins, okay? So these plugins come from third-party companies. So you will have to download something like this. This is the Regate from Reaper.fm. So if you go to Reaper.fm, you can download these and load them into OBS. So I'm going to show that to you now. So now you can see that easily we have the VST2 plugins here. Now, one that I'll open up here because we do not have this built in is the EQ. Open the interface here. You can see the voice coming in and you can, this is a great way for me to show you guys what a male voice sounds like. So if we listen to my voice here, I have it close to the microphones. You can see my voice is really coming in at about 100 to 200 um, right there. And then three and four, and then it peters off at around five to six K. Okay. So that's where we can start using an EQ to boost up certain levels and make my voice sound a little bit more full. And we'll talk about using an EQ in just a moment here. So when you're using an EQ to make your voice or other audio sound easier to hear, you can make it easier for people to listen to your voice. And since there's no default EQ in OBS, this re-EQ from Reaper FM is really one of the best ways to do it. Male voices and female voices are very different. Male voices range from 80 to 500 Hertz. Female voices range from 175 
to 1100 hertz. Most EQ interfaces will show the graphical display starting at about 20 hertz and go all the way up to 20,000 hertz. So you can use this information to know, okay, well, as a male voice, I can get rid of some of this high-end audio, which might be creating a noise and make your voice sound better. Using an EQ certainly requires a pair of headphones because it is not easy to do. All right, so we've looked at all of these audio filters and how they work, and now we finally have to go back to the default audio compressor to show you what side chain ducking is. This is a really, really cool feature. Side chain ducking can be applied to any source using a compression filter. The side chain ducking has a drop down menu. It's the last option here, and it can be used to effectively reduce the audio. It's almost like a reverse compressor. So what you can do is you can select the audio source that you'd like OBS to use to effectively reduce the audio width. So if you have a background audio music, or let's say you're playing a video game and there's a lot of audio with it, well, you can set a sidechain ducking source to be your microphone. So when your microphone turns on, it pushes down the volume of whatever you're putting the sidechain ducking on. So it makes it easier for you for your viewers to hear you when there's music in the background and the commentary comes on or you're speaking over something happening in the background. So, so you have to remember the purpose of this filter is different from the normal compressor. When you use this filter, you'll be able to adjust how much the audio ducks, how much it comes down when your microphone is active. I just find that to be a really cool yet underutilized option for compressors and audio. Well, that's it. I can't believe it. That was so much information about audio. It's technical. Don't forget to put on a pair of headphones when you're working with audio. The next 10 chapters are all about OBS plugins. So let's get into it. I'll see you in the next video.